Hello and welcome to About the House. While trade was once associated with docks and container ships, the digital age has opened the door for Australian businesses to trade with the world in exciting new ways. Jake Colvin, Director of the Global Innovation Forum, recently appeared before the Joint Trade and Investment Growth Committee for their inquiry into the trade system and the digital economy. We caught up with Mr Colvin to find out more. Uh, the Global Innovation Forum is a Washington DC based nonprofit, non governmental organization. Uh, we connect startups and small businesses to government officials and corporations. And we talk about the opportunity to be global from day one, the challenges that startups and small businesses face along the way, uh, and how governments uh, can help through public policies uh, and private sector through best practices. I think uh, generally trade uh, was conducted across large container ships by large multinational corporations. I think what um, digital trade is different in that it um, it's internet enabled trade that is accessible to startups and small businesses that can sell individual um, products and services to uh, the global marketplace. Mr. Colvin spoke about how Australian business and startups can succeed internationally. Uh, our experience is that Australian uh, small businesses are well placed to be global from day one. Uh, we heard from several Australian businesses at an event that we did in Sydney uh, last week as part of the Spark Festival uh, about how they're using uh, online technologies to go global. Uh, some of them are also uh, taking advantage of government policies to go global. And I think one of the challenges though is that uh, startups and small businesses in Australia don't always recognize the opportunity to be global from day one. Uh, and they don't always understand either the technologies that are available to help them run their global business uh, or to access customers in overseas markets uh, or that there are government resources available through uh, groups like Austrade and Industry uh, that can help them uh, explore global markets and succeed internationally. Knowing where to find foreign regulations remains one of the challenges to digital trade. One of the biggest challenges facing Australian small businesses um, is around transparency and availability of information. Um, we hear regularly from startups and small businesses that uh, they don't understand uh, even where to look uh, to, uh, to figure out how to comply with foreign regulations. Um, another big challenge that we see from product-based small businesses uh, is around customs and, uh, and border issues. So uh, to the extent that small businesses face tariffs uh, or red tape and, and paperwork in foreign countries, uh, they're less likely to be successful in those markets. The committee is currently calling for submissions to the inquiry, and Mr Colvin says it's important for small businesses to get a seat at the policy table. I, look, I, I think one of the important things that we've heard from uh, startup mentors and community partners is um, the, the need to get more startup and small business voices um, talking to government. And so one thing that I would advocate for would be for Australian small businesses uh, and those communities that support them, the heads of incubators and, and accelerators and uh, universities and associations um, to make their voice heard to the government about their uh, the opportunities and challenges that they see and what they would like governments to do. Thanks for watching. To learn more about this inquiry, attend a hearing or make a submission, visit aph.gov.au forward slash digital economy.